Migration in Africa was the theme chosen for this year's annual immigration conference organized by the Oblates of Mary Immaculate Scholasticate St. Joseph's Theological Institute in collaboration with the SACBC Migrants and Refugees Office as well as other religious organizations. In his keynote address, the first SACBC liaison bishop for migrants and refugees, Archbishop Joseph Budit Lahali of Johannesburg Archdiocese, focused on the plight of migrants and xenophobia in South Africa. Xenophobia directed at uh, Africans from other countries. It has become more subtle, even though at the beginning you had uh, violence, open violence against them, when the uh, service delivery protest, and somehow or other communities of migrants suffered because of that. Um, we haven't had that much lately, but we remember, for example, when there were trucks, strikes, People were identifying truck drivers and saying they are foreign nationals and they're taking the work of locals. Um, you, you also had, for example, in some of the townships uh, where migrants were accused of taking the work of locals and therefore people were attacked in their houses. I remember also in Rosottenville, for example, in Johannesburg, where migrants who lived in that community were attacked simply because they were said to be selling drugs. So there has been this throughout the country, there has been this eruption of violence against migrants. Now, what you see lately, perhaps as a result of all these incidents of violence, for example, you would have in hospital, even ordinary nurses treating migrants as if they don't have a right to go to hospital. And this also happened in schools that they give children and parents a run around instead of admitting them to schools. And they would also say that they should not be in the schools because they do not have identity documents, they will not be able to drive matric, so they shouldn't actually be admitted into schools. So the, the, the Department of Home Affairs for people who apply for visas or for work permits, taking ages or refusing some of them, all this is an impact of prejudice against uh, People coming from outside, economic migrants who are in South Africa. And some of them have been here since 1994. So that's almost 30 years people are here, but they still do not have documents. Meanwhile, the current SACBC liaison bishop for migrants and refugees, Bishop Joseph Mary Kizitu of Ali Diocese, encouraged participants to revisit the SACBC pastoral plan, which highlights ministry for migrants and refugees, as well as trafficked persons. A lot has been achieved, but what we need now to go and share with the rest of the world is to go and reach out to both groups, the migrants and the hosting community. We have heard that a lot of the hosting community also need a lot of our attention. I think that has come up. They are broken. They come from the history of being segregated. So that one came up. Another information that we received from the conference is that we are called to become the prophet, the prophetic voice, each one of us, to go and be the voice, the voice of the voiceless. And lastly, what I have also come to know about is the collaboration for the different institutions from different churches, academic institutions, from the bishops' conference. We need to network so that all this can go to the people. Among the participants at the annual immigration conference held in Sedera, Hilton, KwaZulu-Natal were religious men and women, including seminarians, novices, and students from the University of KwaZulu-Natal. Among the topics addressed during the two days annual immigration conference on migration in Africa was the issue of visa application. For many non-nationals, the process of visa renewal has become extremely slow to the point that some end up staying in the country without a valid visa. 
Such challenges also have a negative impact on religious orders in South Africa, as seminarians and novices hailing from certain African countries find it difficult to apply or to renew their visas. Okay, as for um, Sister Mary Lucius Toleno Kumelelo, so concerning the issue of renewing of our visas, I have learned that uh, many things which are being done in the home affairs concerning this renewal of visas, some of the things, the Bishop Conference is not aware of them. Those are the things which we find that they are a challenge to us. I feel that as a congregation, we have to meet, then we communicate with the Bishop Conference as to make them aware. And I feel that after this conference, the, our expectation as a, as a congregation, it has been made, things which have been so difficult for us to renew our visas. For this reason, pastoral care agents in Botswana, Eswatini and South Africa have been equipped with computers to assist undocumented migrants and refugees, including nationals, with online registration with their respective home affairs department. Sister Dominique Mkizi is the new SACBC Associate Secretary General, and part of her job is to handle such cases with regards to home affairs. And now, uh, as, a, as, a, as a Christian, to look at Ubuntu, it, 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 it takes even a, a, a deeper uh, and, and a divine calling from God at this day and age.